Good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, ASP dot net MVC call controller method partially. I mean to say, uh, call a controller method partially using AJAX <coughs> or AJAX call. Uh, you can use uh, this jQuery. So first of all, create a method in the controller class in MVC. So public string this is the method name and written date time date time dot now dot to string okay oops I'm getting error I remove the comma in place of replace comma with the dot this is the simple thing uh, we can return from controller to the view page so in a view pay in a view section add a script file in the last section of the view first of all add a library of the script file and then call to the script using dollar sign dot get method okay so after uh, calling this method you can get your date time on your division so division with the id property now add a library of the script file and in the script block first of all call to the dollar sign function or you can also use the document dot ready function when your page is load first time okay there is no need so dollar sign Uh, here we have a dollar sign dot get method or dollar sign dot post method to do this task first of all uh, define the URL from you want to uh, from where your uh, method is defined so my method is defined under the home uh, default controller and the name of the <coughs> action method that is default and action method name okay variable URL uh, by using the dollar sign dot get method pass the parameters of the get method that is URL and uh, the parameters uh, in the array or you can also pass the null parameter okay so first to pass a URL and second pass null and third parameter call to that function with the data because the function return a pair, uh, single value and in that function we have a data so get the division by their id property get data string this is the id property of the division dot html and in which we can take data okay that's fine it's a simple thing we can also do in various technologies like the web forms okay now run your application and check your output yeah uh, your output is 521 to 16 that is that date time okay if you want to uh, do the same task with the some parameters then uh, in the null parameter you can add a few parameters like the first name and the last name okay so get info the method name in which we have a two parameter in the controller section 
string first name and string last name okay now uh, concat both the parameters first name last name with the defined string that is added and in the script block the URL is a method name is different get info so replace the URL controller action a controller method controller name is the same default and the method name is get info and before the get method we have a two parameters that is first name and the last name in the first name we can refer my name that is Jacob and the last name also my last name is Lefore okay that's fine in in place of null you can pass that parameter first name and the last name with the colon separated sorry comma separated and the pass take parameters with the colons first name colon first name the variable name comma the last name colon last name okay uh, that's fine so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net mbc and learn many more things about asp.net mbc uh, I promise you learn better from my channel and uh, you will get the right job in ASP.NET MVC. Okay. So thank you, thank you very much again.